Hey guys, the Green Machine is joining us on the on the desk very soon. Now he's one very tough guy. But watching the fight last night, I was surprised at how delicate his trainer is. Have a look. This is them over in the front. <laughs> it's such a gentle touch and just a back. Don't worry, Danny. I know they're punching you out there, but in here it's a safe space. Yeah. <laughs> I, that is exactly why I could never be a boxer, because if anybody is touching my face that gently, I'm going in for the kiss. <laughs> oh, sorry, I misread that. Sorry, yeah, whoa, fight another one. I always thought Danny had beautiful skin, too. Was that, that moisturiser? Yeah. Was that moisturiser? I think it, we'll have yeah, to no, ask him when he comes I, up. I, I really would like to know that. Yeah. yeah but I you will. know what, if you're getting beaten in the ring, you probably need a bit of loving when you come off. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he... I'm not sure moisturiser makes the difference. It doesn't stop concussion. <laughs> Well, guys, this is very exciting. An Australian and an Argentinian step into a ring. What happens next? This. Last night was all fun and games for our mate Danny Green as he prepared for his first fight in almost three years. Left foot red, boys. But once he stepped into the ring at Melbourne's High Sense Arena, it was a different story. He's back. He means business. The 42-year-old went head-to-head -head with Argentinian Roberto the Beast Bolonti, who was a worthy opponent with staying power. Bolonti with a little sparkle in his eye. Despite suffering a cut above his left eye in the third round, 36-year-old Bolonti went the distance but was no match for the Green Machine. Danny Green victorious, a complete shutout. Ten rounds to nil, 100 to 90. The four-time world champ claimed victory with a unanimous points decision and with a message from Mundine. I hope you paid full toe for that performance, Chuck. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting all night for this. Please welcome Danny Green! Yeah. Congratulations, man. Well done. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, oh, mate. Is that hurting oh, us? Shit. Is that hurting <laughs> us? <laughs> yep, it did. Danny Green. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, how are you feeling? I'm all right, mate, yeah. It's got a few bump, bit of bark off, a few bumps and bruises, but, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. What do you mean? There's a bone sticking out of your hand. Oh, I'm just, I'm just uh, growing a little egg in there. It's a little <laughs> project for my kids at school. Was, yeah. <laughs> so you, you actually can't straighten... Uh, that's it. Oh, that's straighten. Can we get a close-up of that? Permanent? Yeah. Oh. I did that, actually did that in the Olympic Games in uh, here. That gives you a better look at it. I'll put it around there. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of nice, it, isn't it? It actually looks like there's a <laughs> spider a, trying to bust out of you. I've been approached to do like a, a new palm olive ad, but uh, <laughs> you well, about that. But we just saw the beautiful cream being rubbed into your skin. Feel it, Tommy. It looks so <laughs> luscious. Yes, is, is, that is, that is that moisturizer? What is that? That's Vaseline. So the punches. Look, my trainer Angelo. I've just been getting belted in the face for you know three minutes, and if the fight goes ten rounds, which it did, it's thirty minutes. So his job when I get back is to calm me down, settle me down, just give me a little rub as he does, and <laughs> relaxes me, and I get a little bit sleepy, you know. So hey, this was great. I wanted to talk to you about something else that happened in your corner. Uh, take, take a look at this mm. down here. You're only going to get better. So you'll it's see, this is all normal so far, and then that. Hang on, Let and then again, one. hang on. Natural. And then one more. What are they just telling you? Fight like a horse. Fight like a horse. <laughs> That's, that's my, actually my way of, um, of, of slowing my heart rate down. I, I, it helps me, subconsciously, it's my thing I do. I go, <laughs> helps me relax and actually slows, for me, it slows my heart rate down. So when I'm, when I'm in the ring fighting, H.E. will go, my corner man, he'll go, you know, my trainer, he'll go, horse breathe, breathe, granny breathe, and I'll go, <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm sparring with my, when I'm in the gym sparring or fight, like I did in the fight, and my opponent, and I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> and my opponent's looking at me going, is this guy off his head or what? <laughs> so if I go to get in a fight with anyone, they start doing the horse thing, run. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, Maybe okay, jump okay. on and throw a saddle on him. <laughs> Three years since your last fight, you must feel tremendously relieved, of course, to win. What do you do for a thrill during your three years when you're not actually in the ring? Uh, I jumped out of plane with my daughter. She went first, and I, excuse my language, I nearly shh yep, yep. in my pants when I watched her fall out the plane. Wow. And she was as cool as a cucumber. She's, I said to her before we go in the planes, the little planes going, <laughs> the door opens, I'm like, far out. And she was first out. It was like, it was her 13th birthday present. I'm thinking, this is a bad idea. And I said, you're right, kid. You're cool. And she's all, let's do this. And I'm like, she's cooler than me. You know? She's fine. <laughs> and then she's like, yeah. And she looked back before she went, and poof, she's gone. I thought, oh my God, I just threw my daughter out of pain. <laughs> <laughs> you have and to then, do a bit of. Yeah. Just to oh, no, I think the, the back end was gone. <laughs> Danny, I learned uh, <laughs> about you last night. If, you, um, if, if I want to get you to do something, I just tell you not to do it. Well, I was asked by you before the telecast to not thank anyone, but I wouldn't be here without all these people that are right here in this arena. Angela Hyder, my team, his beautiful wife, Leanne, Tony Tolge, Mary McCormack, Pauline Wilson, Molly, 
and all the crew here, my beautiful wife Nina, my two beautiful kids. All the boys at the footy show, thanks fellas. Project, thanks so much guys. It went on for about three minutes. I feel sorry there's a producer in the ear going, wrap him up and it's like it's Danny Green. <laughs> The last speech I had um, was way better than that one. I think my two chihuahuas and my pet lorikeet bozo. So. <laughs> you want to leave any? Because that lorikeet will get you if you don't thank it. Well, he um, he is actually he's quite a quite a nasty little bugger. He um he drinks rum and uh, he gets on he gets like he'll sit and perch up if there's a can of rum on the thing. Sometimes mates come over and we get him out and put it on the table and he'll crawl up and go and have a swill of the rum and he'll, yeah we'll put a little bit there for him and he licks it and you can tell he's loving it. So he hops around the table. He's Packing at chips and crackers and cheese and that. Oh. And then when I take the can away from him, he gets belligerent. He gets drunk and belligerent. He's just like a typical, you know, That's typical mad dog the on, the, on the turf, you know? I hope that bird's an adult. Um, <laughs> Mundine, it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. He knows it's going to happen. Why do you just stop pretending? Just do it. Bring the studio. So you'll do it? You want to do it? Studio. We'll do it here if you want. No right. problem. Are you serious? Man, Live where, is the he? where is he? You yeah. surprise me, aren't you? But is that you right now saying that you intend to fight him? Oh, look, uh, well, it, mate, I've, I've answered this question so many times and, and, and it's, it comes across that I'm calling him out. I'm just answering another question, with all respect to you, mate. And, you know, I've, I've, he called me out of time in 2009. We fought in 2006, nearly 10 years ago. And he's rematched three Australian fighters since then. He's, he's not really done a hell of a lot since then. With all respect to him, he's had a great career and he's been great for the sport of boxing, Anthony Monday. And uh, we had a great rivalry, but uh, I haven't called him out. I'm just, I'm ready to go, no problem. I'm here, I'm fit, I'm ready to rumble. I'm 42 years old. He should be looking at me going, he's an old man, I'll take him. I'll be like, that old boy. But uh, <laughs> I'm ready to go, you know. And he, um, he, he, uh, he's ran from the rematch for over nine years, and there's only one fight that people want to see, and his numbers and pay-per-view figures, the tickets he sells, he's fighting here, I think, in soon in Melbourne. And he doesn't really sell a lot, and his pay-per-view figures are really poor. Oh, wow. And so um, <clears throat> the public has spoken. They, they only right. want to see it. And he said he wants 60. 40. I reckon that's a fair deal, me 60, him 40. Yeah, you heard it here, Mundine. The fight's gonna happen. Would you please thank Danny Green? Thanks, man. Thanks, man.